guys and welcome to our Japanese garden escape. I'm Teresa and today I'll be working in the Zen area you can see here and behind me. So um, the reason I'm working here today is because if you have a look here in, in this little bit for example, um, it is early summer and everything starts to grow and this area starts to feel cluttered and overgrown. And this is uh, what we want to take care of today. So we want to declutter the Zen area and we want to uh, calm it down by doing that. So um, maybe a little background to this first. We started to plant this garden in 2015 and we did uh, planting and landscaping bit by bit every year. So every year we added more and did more of pathways and ponds and so on. And um, you are at the point where you have, obviously you buy smaller plants, they take two to three years maybe to become established and start to grow properly. And now six years later, we are at the point where plants are really growing well, getting to a, or starting to get to a more mature stage and where um, planting stops and goes over into maintaining and um, actually pruning plants. So, uh, and this is uh, what we're doing here today. So um, I'll start with these grasses. These grasses here are, uh, they just grow here naturally. This is just some meadow grass that grows here. In winter they are quite low, uh, but in summer you can see they start to grow and they become, uh, get these seed pots. And um, usually what I did in the last years, I just cut these seed pots off to keep the grasses low. But um, we decided actually this year to remove these grasses. So first we really like them as a ground cover, but um, we these days we prefer just having a pure moss cover on the mound. And in between, this is actually all overgrown by moss, as you can see here. So there's so much, but because the grasses have become so big, they do um, spread by runners, like this little one here, and also by seed. And so they are just becoming more and more every year. And um, uh, this is why we decided uh, this year to remove those grasses. So this is what I will be starting with today. So other than the grasses, I'm just going to show you a few things here going in. Um, so <laughs> okay, right, here we are. <laughs> I hope you can still see me. Um, okay, this one here, for example, oh yeah, the ferns. Um, as you have maybe seen in the last garden tour video, the ferns are really growing a lot in this area. Um, Many places uh, other than the area in front of the shed and uh, um, under the tree, uh, we do not really like having the ferns. They look very nice, but you see they get so big over time that they just overgrow and cover up everything else. So these ferns we're going to take out and usually I just uh, broke off the leaves, but they will regrow. So this time I'm going to dig them out properly. Then uh, we have here, we have a holly. Um, this is not the Japanese holly, it's just a normal holly, um, which never really grew 100%. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, this one we're going to remove completely, so also to declutter. And here is another one. This one also, it doesn't look very nice really. So we're going to remove this one as well. Then what do we have here? This is a, this is a Japanese holly. Uh, which could do with some space, so that grass is about to go as well. Uh, and then uh, this one is called, I think it's called money bush. It's a little evergreen shrub, um, has been in there for a very long time, um, grows rather wide than high. And um, yeah, it's also a little bit overgrown, you see here, so it needs a bit of space as well. Um, this is the, the holly that has red berries in winter, so that one will stay, that's okay. And this uh, lamp, this stone lamp, we may want to move, we'll see later about that. And um, ah, yeah, here's another one, another uh, Japanese holly. You see, not too happy anymore because it was so overgrown by the grass. So here we have a lot of work to do today. Before I start, I will also show you the other area here. So here also we have, um, we planted this grass a long time ago. Uh, also here I usually trimmed it at least twice a year, uh, but this year we're going to remove that. So this will give us a really nice, calm um, area where there's only moss. Also here you can see there's a lot of moss growing in between everywhere. So um, this will all be uncovered and then has more light and more space to grow. This maple, um, I spoke about that on the garden tour video. This one is one of the maples that died. Uh, it was perfectly fine last year, but this year it didn't come back. This happens sometimes with Japanese maples that are grafted. And so we're going to remove that one. And what else do we have here? This is the mountain laurel. It's about to, to get blossoms. Those blossoms are the ones that look like wax. 
blossoms really beautiful so it's not open yet it will still be maybe a couple of weeks so that one will stay and um, here if you look at the stairs this is an area I will also do today um, all the ferns that grow here so we had them in for a few years some are still very small uh, this one is getting bigger but also here it's kind of in the way as you walk up and down the stairs so we're going to remove those ferns as well so let's get started down here and what I will do, uh, I will try to protect and preserve as much moss as possible, as you already know from me. And this is why I'm not just pulling out the grasses. This is why I use a little shovel to just cut the roots and just lift them out carefully. So all the moss that is around them stays in place as good as possible. So this may take me a little while, but we'll get there. Here we go, that's number one. Perfect. So these grasses, they do not root very deep. So it's kind of fairly easy to get them out. So look here, by just removing those two grasses, how much better and calmer this already looks. Uh, and you can even see some of our rocks again that we put here uh, at the beginning when we landscaped this area and most of them have disappeared under these grasses. So look how overgrown they are. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So guys, have a look at that. That took me about 15, 20 minutes. And look what difference it makes. Doesn't it look already a lot calmer and a lot more balanced without all these grasses in there? We removed some ferns and um, the two hollies I was talking about before. So let's keep going with the small bit over there and then moving on to the other area. to this area now so I'm doing the same lifting up the grasses with the shovel to make sure as much moss as possible stays in place and um, then we'll dig out or cut off this one here and um, then we uh, do the steps last and then we'll have a look how it all looks All right, all the grasses are out. Um, the last step before we're completely finished uh, is what I do here uh, to fill in these holes I made so where I took out the grasses. Um, and how I do this, I'll move the moss to the side. You see, most of this is not completely attached so it can be moved easily. Uh, I'll fill a little bit of dirt in. I'll show you on this one here. Just got some there. This is dirt from our uh, compost pile, which is basically soil we have dug out over the years from planting plants, so this is quite good. Uh, soil uh, so like so and then I'll just pull the moss back over and push it down and this is 
this this is enough so the moss will uh, stay in place and start to attach a little bit to the soil and the picture we want to achieve here is we don't want to fill in this mound uh, so it looks like even so we don't want an even surface we do want this bumpy kind of look so basically you can see it anywhere here so you have little bumps here and there and this is a look that uh, if you look on, on pictures or if you are maybe in a Japanese garden or have visited one, if you look closer on these moss overgrown mounds, this is how they look. So this is a natural um, moss environment or natural moss picture to have those little um, bumps as opposed to having a flat uh, even surface. So this is what we're trying to achieve here. So I'll just keep going whilst um, talking because we can hear some thunder in the background. So this happens here in summer or early summer it is really that thunder or thunderstorm comes out of nowhere um, so it may or may not move over I, and one more thing because you see now here my footstep um, from working on the mound so for the moss this is fine so the moss will not suffer from being stepped on it is actually very resistant to being stepped on um, and when i step on it and you see this uh, footprint here for me so i'll just leave that and you'll see later the next day the moss will be standing up again so there's no damage done here okay then i'll just fill in the the remaining holes there are just a few really because many of these grasses they were not really rooted very deep especially not on the other mound most of them as you saw i pulled out by hand so the other one will be quick and easy as well okay this one done I, and then also what I always do, um, I always clean off the rocks because I don't like having dirt or leaves on the rocks. See like so. Okay, what else? Back here. Need a little bit. Okay, let's take the shovel. Make it a bit easier. So the moss is out of the way there. A bit, another little bit here, and just press it down, put some moss over it. Same here, this is actually quite attached, so I'll leave that. Maybe I find a bit of loose moss somewhere. Maybe you see that bit here because the moss tends to move a bit into the pathway, but sometimes I think it's, it's also. Uh, either birds moving the moss around they're actually picking it off or uh, voles sometimes I think they're just I don't know messing around in my moss so here you see it's also a loose bit so that one we can fill in here and there like so that will do. good and then I have just a little one left there Looks more like a bowl hole. Good. So left. Okay. Now we've done all the groundwork in this area, so we've decluttered everything that is uh, on the mossy and on the mounds. And the next step in this area is to prune the maples and some other shrubs you see here. But this we're going to cover in a separate video uh, where we will talk specifically about maple pruning. All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.